Remember that when you're working with absolute value and trying to solve equations, you have to keep in mind what absolute value means. And what absolute value means is distance away from zero. So like this is just a really basic problem that'll help you remember the concept. If the absolute value of x equals five, what that means is that x is whatever number is five away from zero. So I drew a little picture. Here's zero, x could be one, two, one, two, three, four, five this way. So x could equal to five. And my other answer comes from when I move five in this direction. One, two, three, four, five, boom. X equals negative five. Most of the time, you're gonna have two answers like that. So you have to be aware when you're solving absolute value equations that you're probably gonna have two answers. And the way you solve the problems is that the first thing you do is do the mathematical solving techniques that isolates the absolute value piece. You wanna get that absolute value piece all by itself before you do any uh, solving equations. The next thing you wanna keep in mind is when you get to the bottom of your problem, you're trying to figure out how many answers you have, there's a couple little secrets you can remind yourself of. Most of the time, you're gonna get two answers. However, if you have something where your absolute value blah 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 is equal to zero, that means you're only going to have one solution. And also, if you get something where your absolute value, blah, 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 is equal to some negative value, negative, I'm just going to say negative 100, I made that up, could be negative anything, that means you're going to have no solution. Because no number could be a negative distance away from zero. Remember, absolute value means distance away from zero. It doesn't make sense to have a negative distance. And that's why sometimes you're gonna have no solution. It'll make a lot more sense once you guys start doing a few problems. If you need help, make sure you come back to this video and like review these little shortcuts for how you can tell how many answers you'll have.